we worked very hard in the school district and uh, the results that came out yesterday moving us to the A category was a great celebration for us. A lot of teachers and administrators, families, children have worked very hard to, to make that happen here in the Gulfport School District. We push our kids pretty hard in, in ELA and mathematics, but the difference this year on our moving from a B to an A really falls in the world of our, our English language learners. Uh, we're topping the state in that game. We also, our acceleration model at our high school, which is our dual enrollment and our AP classes and the increase we've seen in those students and then also the uh, college and career readiness component, which is our ACT score, which was, we, we hang very, very well with the rest of the state and the nation. Our EL program um, involves our students here and our teachers, our parents. We have a pullout program where our EL instructor pulls the students for small group. In the classroom, our teachers are well versed. They pull the students in small group as well and work on phonics. We involve our parents uh, a lot with our EL. We have uh, actually a Hispanic Heritage Day coming up. So everything is centered around Hispanic Heritage that day. So we want to make them feel valued and appreciated and want everybody to know about their culture and um, it'll help improve their participation, they'll feel like they belong, and maybe even perform better. I think the biggest thing with us is relationships and how we speak to our children and the conversations we're having with children, especially the academic conversations. You know, we're asking fourth graders what they want to be when they grow up, and we're trying to say, well, to do that, these are the things that you need to excel in and make sure that you're uh, making that your priority to excel in. And so those relationship building conversations, I think for us, are the, are the key. It is more than an A or a B because it's showing that we are doing something right. We are building productive members of society who will help sustain our future. They are our future doctors and lawyers and leaders and we have to make sure that we ensure our future is bright and will be successful.